Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of collective haul video. It has been a little while since I have gone out shopping and sort of bought a bunch of stuff and then come home and filmed a video to show you everything. Um, I haven't been shopping in a little while, to be honest, out in store where I did that kind of thing because obviously we've been locked down, um, but I've made up for it now. So <laughs> I thought I would show you what I bought. I don't really, there's a few things here as well that I have bought online sort of over the last few months um, that I've really been enjoying. So I thought I'd share them with you as well since we're doing a video, but I'm going to start with, I went to Colette today, so jewelry. I told myself at the beginning of this year that I was going to start wearing jewelry again. I've got a sort of a whole cabinet full of jewelry, like just costume jewelry and stuff from like Colette and Lovisa La and Diva. <laughs> from back in the day um that I stopped wearing after I had the kids so it's whole cabinet um I do like the look of jewelry but I just really stopped wearing it because when the kids are babies and you know they pull at things and everything um and then lockdown happened so we weren't getting dressed up and there was no reason to be wearing jewelry so I'm going to start again and try and do that I've put some earrings on today baby steps um, I'm the kind of person like I don't even wear my wedding jewelry my um my wedding rings or anything when I'm at home it's really only when I go out so I have to like consciously put on jewelry but anyway I bought a few little pairs of earrings because I really really liked these these cute little sort of I think they're called huggy style earrings um I should put them on I don't even know how to put earrings on anymore it's been so long oh, oh my god ow so these are only $4, which I feel like is really, really reasonable. Um, they've got little stars. I just like that the hoop is so small. Like it almost cuffs. It's not a cuff, but, you know, it almost cuffs your low, which is really cute. I also got these ones for $4. So a similar sort of style, a much um, daintier or more delicate um, hoop. But then they also have a little hexagon down there, which is cute. Those were also $4. I think I actually got, like it was a buy, however and get another one free. So I've got these little ones as well, which are really, really sweet. They are studs and they've got um, the really pretty baby pink center with like glitter in it, which I thought was so cute. Loved them. They were $4 also. And then I also got this hair clip, which I, it was on sale. I'm not sure how much it was, um, but it's just these stars. And I thought it'd be cute sort of with lots of curly hair and then to the side and this little this little thing, I don't know. I haven't worn a hair clip in so long and it really, the style of it reminds me of, you know, hair clips from back when we were little kids. So I really liked that. And hopefully I'm going to start wearing all that stuff again soon or now that we're actually allowed to go out into the into the public. Um, I'm in WA in Australia, Western Australia, and we're doing really, really good with the, with the pandemic at the moment. Um, we're about to, I think we're only three weeks away from no restrictions besides our border being closed. So fingers crossed we stay on a good track with that. Um, next, I'll move on to the candles that I bought today. I went to my candle cabinet the other day and I've gone through all of them. So it's time to buy a couple new ones. This is my absolute favorite candle. It's from Bed Bath & Table from the Morgan & Finch range. And it is the Sandalwood & Clove. So I absolutely love this. Clove is like one of my favorite scents. Like that, and it is a two wick candle. Oh, it's so good. I love it. It's such a cozy scent. Like it's really good for winter, but I use it all year round. And then the other one I got was this Ikoya, again from Bed Bath & Table, the Ikoya Guava and Lychee Sorbet, which, oh my God, smells like a drink or an icy pole or something. So good. Um, only one week on this one. And this one has a 55 hour burn time. Um, and I think this one's similar, but it, oh, 80 hours on that one. So that's really good. So I grabbed Taylor a few things. Um, if you're new here, Taylor is my daughter. She just turned eight years old. I'm actually going to film a video with her coming up in the next week or so, um, of her. We did a video like when she turned five years old and it was me sort of asking her questions and she answered the questions. And it's really nice to have that to look back on, you know, even just three years later, it's really cute to see how much she's grown since then. So we're going to refilm that video now that she's turned eight, so three years later and I'll post that up in the next few days. Um, she's really excited to do it. She's like, oh, I'm going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to have my own video. Uh, but yeah, I grabbed her a couple of things. I got her these boots. Um, it's it's coming in, well, it is winter now at the moment. And the other day I went to dress her, you know, we went out for dinner and I wanted some boots and none of her boots fit her. So I grabbed these from Target. They're just, you know, a tan color or like a neutral color. Um, they have a cute little buckle here. It's not really, it is a functioning buckle, but it's just decorative really. Um, it comes, they zip up down the side. So really cute, nice and flat and they'll go with everything. I also grabbed her this like teddy jumper which is so cute. This was from Target as well. So it's this nice like pale pink. It's 
the fleecy um the fleecy material all the way through the um inside as well i find with a lot of these style of um tops and jumpers and things it's not the fleece on the inside and you sort of go oh it's so cozy and then you put it on and it's not as cozy as, as it actually looks um but i grabbed her this i've got a really similar one so we could match i'll try and link to this stuff down below if i can and then in cotton on kids i got this for owen owen's my nearly five-year-old son <laughs> he um he was with me and he really liked the, the the volcano here. It's sort of a really light pink and it says future proof, future proof our planet, respect mother nature, don't blow it. And he really liked the um the rainbow that's on here. So really cute. I really like cotton on um, kids tees and things. I think they're really good quality. I got Taylor this cute little one. So it's like a, uh, it's probably more a creamy or an ivory sort of color um, with some cute little love hearts on it. Just like a really basic tee that'll go with everything. Got her that. And then this little dress. She's got a couple of birthday parties coming up that she's going to. She likes to wear dresses to parties, but being that it's winter, she needed something a bit warmer. So this, again, like I say, it was from Cotton On Kids. It's got sort of a tiered skirt to it, um, but it is like a, like a sweater dress. So it's nice and um, fleecy on the inside. And it does have sort of a glitter running through it. So it's a little bit fancy, um, but still sort of, you know, appropriate for running around at the parties. So there's that. And she can wear that with some tights and boots and it'll be super cute. She was saying the other day as well that she doesn't have any sunglasses. So I did grab her these. They're a little bit of fun. Um, cute little flower sunglasses from Cotton On Kids as well. They should fit her. I hope they do. Oh my gosh, if not. Um, and then I just got her some new hair lackeys. Fun fact, my cat, which is the son here, Billy, she loves hair lackeys. Like she will come and steal them out of a drawer. Like she knows how to get into them. Whenever I get in the shower, after I've had a ponytail, she'll follow me to the shower. She'll wait for me to get in the shower. Obviously I'll take my hair out so I can wash my hair. And then she'll like jump up and get my hair lackey, take it and go play. She loves them. It's hilarious. Um, so we go through them all because she destroys them. Um, so Taylor got some new ones. She got some pink ones, um, which she will really like. The whole reason I went shopping in the first place today was because, like I say, Taylor's got two birthday parties coming up, one this weekend and then one next week. So I really was there to get um, birthday presents for these little girls. <laughs> and then I went and bought all the other stuff. But I went to Smiggle because what little eight-year-old girl doesn't love Smiggle at the moment? And they had these cute little pens. I think these will buy two and get one free or they were down. They, they, they were some, I mean, it's end of financial year. So there's sales everywhere. I'm not sure what these were exactly, but the cute little pens. They all have the, one of these little things here and they pop up with a little character on the inside. Very cute. And I figure I'd get the two for the girls that are having their birthday parties and then Taylor could have the third one if she wanted or I might just keep it for another party which will inevitably come up soon I'm sure now that we're allowed to do that kind of thing again I got this rainbow loofah Taylor's really into loofahs Taylor only got her first sort of loofah recently and she really really loves it so I figured her friends would also like loofahs so I got one of them at this little one from Target um, I think it was just a couple of dollars and I just thought it was cute because it was a rainbow I also got this um, bracelet creation kit from Target so the girls can make their own little bracelets. I thought that would be fun. And then I got this little nail polish kit as well. And then from Smiggle as well, I got this flower crown, flower crown kit. So it's to make your own flower crowns, which I thought was really cute. So I'm going to sort of make two sort of gifts out of those items one for each of the girls I also grabbed myself a new sticky tape dispenser because mine's all broken and it doesn't sort of hold the um the tape in place anymore it's been frustrating me for a good couple of years and I figured you know what I'm gonna splash out spend three dollars and get myself a new one so I got one of those that's from Target it is really nice I like the design it's nice and sort of sleek and fresh um and it does say tape just in case you're not sure what it is when you see it on the desk and then I also grabbed this um, clipboard file. I'm doing, I'm actually going to be the coach of my daughter's netball team this year, which I'm not sure how I managed to volunteer myself to do that, but I am. Um, and there's a lot more paperwork than usual than I think there usually is simply because we've got the coronavirus going around and we have to account for everything and we've got checklists we need to follow for every training. So I grabbed one of these little clipboards. It's really nice and light um, and it'll be easy for me to carry. Um, while I'm at Emble Trading, just so I can keep all the paperwork handy because, like I said, I've got to do quite a few things 
with that this year. So I just wanted to be prepared. And then the last couple of things are things that I have bought sort of over the last couple of months. So I'll show them to you. I've got myself a new couple pairs of sunglasses. These are the key brand. Is it key or is it K? I think it's key. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know though. I'm pretty sure it's key. Um, I got these ones, which I got these both from the Iconic. Um, I'll link them down below because I'm pretty sure they're still there. I think they're still on sale. But I got these ones. I love the tortoiseshell and I love the shape. This is like really the kind of style that I do really like. And these come in a couple different sort of colors. There's another tortoiseshell that's sort of halfway tortoiseshell and then it just blends into sort of a brown color. And I think there's a plain black one as well really like those. I can really tell the difference. I usually just buy $20 sunglasses from like Dotty or Sports Girl or places like that. I've never bought, you know, a more, uh, I don't want to say high end, but not more of, I never really buy mid range kind of sunglasses or high end, <laughs> mind you. And I have noticed a huge difference in the actual lens compared to the kind of sunglasses I usually get. And even the quality of the bands and everything is a lot different. And because these, but because these were on sale, they weren't a lot more expensive. They were hardly I think they were thirty dollars. These, are, this is the other pair. So these are obviously an aviator style. Where's these? <coughs> oh, so these are obviously an aviator style pair of sunglasses. And if I, you can probably see my um <laughs> camera stand because uh, they're quite mirrored. I love how these fade. They're black. The arm is, you know metal arm um, but I find these really comfortable I know I've had a few pairs in the past with this sort of arm um, and I find them really uncomfortable but these don't give me any headaches I like this cute little this little thing down here that's holding the glass in place really really like these I've been wearing these a ton and then from cotton on body I bought these I don't know, a few weeks ago and I've worn them pretty much every single night to bed since I bought them but these are their sort of um, what are the actual, what's the actual style called? It's like a waffle PJ set. It's got the black pair, which has this really cute little sort of ditzy flower print on it. Um, it's a waffle material. I will say, like I said, I've, I've worn these pretty much every single night since I got them and I've washed them a ton. They are starting to get the little lint balls on them now, which is a pity. And then in the pants, which I have here in the pants where I slip the bus up. The, um, so this little section here where you can see all the flowers are rubbing off, that is my hip, like the side of my hip on the side that I sleep. So obviously, um, that's a, that's pretty sad that they, it's coming off already, but they are super comfortable. I love them. They're nice and warm, but without being too much. And they're really pretty. And I have ordered another pair, <laughs> even though they're obviously not the best quality in the print. I think they're worth it because they're really pretty. I ordered the um, blue version of these ones. Hopefully they're going to come in the post in the next few days. And then I also bought this beach cover-up or bikini cover-up from Cotton On Body a few months ago. It's quite long, so it does come down, you know, over your butt and everything. So you can wear it. It's a little sheer, so it is for the beach or the pool. Or you could wear it with denim shorts and, you know, a cute little um, bralette or something underneath. And that would be really, really cute in the summer months. Obviously, it is winter at the moment, so I'm not going to be wearing this anytime soon. But right before Corona hit, Joe and I went and had a night at a hotel for our anniversary. Um, and I used his, like one of his white button down shirts as a cover up. And um, the whole time he was like, are you going to spill anything on that? Because I need that shirt. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd better get my own one so that it saves him the anxiety of the fact that I could potentially spill something on his only white shirt that he likes. Um, so I got my own. And, you know, I don't really need an excuse to buy buy things, do I? We all know I like to shop. Um, I did also grab this wrapping paper for the girls' birthday presents from Target. I think it was like $2 for the roll and I just thought it was a nice print. And then the last thing I was going to show you is this Muck Curl Stick. I bought this quite a while ago um, and I haven't shown you yet because I had a lot of drama with it. It is a clampless tong. So when you buy this particular set, you get um, the actual, you know, electrical part here and then you get three attachments. And then I purchased separately um, this attachment as well. This one actually has a clamp and it is a 32 millimeter barrel. Um, so this is for, you know, your bigger style of, um, this is what I really wanted, but these are the attachments that come with this. I will never use this one. I can tell you that right now. And then 
this one. This one is the one I'm most likely to use, but had a lot of drama with this to begin with. When I first bought it, I obviously plugged it in to the wall, curled my hair, obviously, um, turned it off. There's a power button here and there's lights. So obviously it was off because the lights were off. And then I went and I think, have I told you this story before? Maybe I have, but I went and took my daughter to school, came back, sort of did a few things around the house and then went back into my bathroom and this was still on. So even though the lights were all off and everything um it was still plugged into the power and i hadn't turned the power off at the wall but it, the unit was supposed to be off um or the unit was saying that it was off but it was still on and it was scorching hot like i think even hotter than it's meant to go it was crazy and then when i picked up the actual i picked it up off the um bathroom counter it had burnt into the laminate it had just burnt it so there was this there's this burn mark on there now which is so frustrating but then this part it wasn't this particular attachment, but this, it attaches down the bottom here, but this metal part fell out of the attachment because, because it had been so hot and it had been there for, I think it was about, probably about 40 minutes. All the casing on the inside had melted because it was so hot and the whole thing fell apart. It was terrifying. Um, and it had been off the whole time. So I messaged, um, I messaged their customer service and they said they would send me out a new attachment, which they did. Um, tried it again but it wasn't obviously the attachment it was the base of the curl stick that was the problem it would just yeah if if the power if it was connected to the power and the power was on even if it was turned off the power was still coming through which again is terrifying so eventually i sent it away for a replacement because they do have a two-year warranty um and they sent me the new one back finally um, which i received in the mail about a week ago so i'm so happy to have it back because i haven't been able to really curl my hair hair the way that i like to um but the product is good it was just the fact that i had a dodgy one but they did have really good customer service like i just basically explained to them what happened and they've replaced it for me no questions asked or no further questions asked um so i was really happy with that i did have to pay for postage to Send it back for the warranty but i mean that was 12 dollars or something so that's fine so i do want to recommend it because it is a good product just be careful when you first get it that you don't have a faulty one so that is everything that i have bought today and over the last couple of months that i wanted to share with you i hope you've enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun filming it it's been like i say so long since i've done a shopping video so i'm going to leave links down in the below bar if you are interested in anything if you have any questions please do let me know and i will answer them in the comments i hope you guys are well i will talk to you next time bye